Do you know the truth about many children? In today's cartoon story joke, we delve in deep. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round for a joke that's about to deliver a kick. And yes, it's the unexpected kind you are hoping for. So, strap in and hold on tight because this joke is about to hit you like a bolt from the blue. Picture this, history will always remind us that tucked away in the rustic countryside of Shuya, Russia, lived a man named Fyodor Vasilyev, whose story is the stuff of legend. Fyodor, a humble peasant with a knack for making history, holds the record for the most children born to one mother. And who might that extraordinary mother be? None other than Mrs. Vasilyev, a woman whose remarkable fertility journey surpassed all expectations. Now brace yourself for the numbers game. Mrs. Vasilyev wasn't just popping out a kid or two. Oh no, she was on a roll. In 27 births, she delivered 16 pairs of twins, seven sets of triplets, and four sets of quadruplets. Yes, you heard that right, quadruplets. A total of 69 children from the 27 births to this amazing woman. She was like a factory churning out bundles of joy, faster than you can say maternity leave. Talk about keeping the family tree busy. One thing's for certain, she was a force to be reckoned with. So here's to you, Mrs. Vasiliev, the unsung hero of the maternity ward, the queen of quads, and the matriarch of multiples. Cheers to the ultimate baby whisperer. No strap yourselves in for today's joke, because perhaps that can be surpassed. Once upon a time in the quaint little town, there lived a woman named Mrs. Jones. Now Mrs. Jones was not your average neighbor. Oh no, she was what you might call an eccentric enthusiast. Her quirk? An inexplicable infatuation with the name James. Whether it was the rhythm of the syllables or the mystique behind it, nobody quite understood her James obsession. Yet, Mrs. Jones was resolute. She declared to anyone who would listen that if she ever found herself knee-deep in motherhood, her offspring would bear the name James. Little did she know, fate had a wicked sense of humor. In a twist that could only happen in a story like this, Mrs. Jones found herself not with one or two children, but a whopping 60. And yes, you guessed it. Each one was baptized with the name James. James number one, James number two, James the 60th. It was a James extravaganza. Now, you might wonder, how did Mrs. Jones manage this James Legion? Well, that's where the tale takes a delightful turn. One fateful afternoon, her dear friend, Mrs. Perkins, couldn't contain her curiosity any longer. How on earth do you manage with all those James? She asked, her eyes wide with wonder. Mrs. Jones, with a mischievous twinkle in her eye, leaned in conspiratorially. Ah, my dear Perkins, she replied. That's where the magic lies. Thanks to my colorful romantic history, every James in my brood sports a different surname. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here. <laughs>